Hey gang, today's cook is risotto Dr. Pepper. This is one of my absolute classics. It always goes down a treat. Okay, we are kicking out the classics and we're bringing in a modern twist. So, the shopping list that you're going to need to make this is, of course, you're going to want some Dr. Pepper. It's the star of the show. Now, if you wanted to swap this out, Cherry Pepsi Max would be a great alternative. You're obviously going to need some risotto rice. You're going to need some stock, whatever type of stock that you prefer. Um, I'm using some stock cubes here because they do a reasonable job, particularly if you're making this as a quick midweek meal. You're obviously going to want onion. You're going to want some oil. I'm using a herb and I'm choosing sage because sage is absolutely golden in pretty much anything. And obviously you're going to want to season that with some black pepper and some Parmesan cheese. We also want some butter, but I forgot to put it out on the work surface. Right, let's crack on with the method. Pretty simple risotto, but stick on your kettle if you are making your stock with a cube because you're going to want to melt that bad boy. Then you're going to want to dice up your onion. You're going to want to do this pretty fine because it needs to mix in with the risotto. So you want the pieces of um, onion to be about the same size as a single piece of rice, okay? So get your pan on. Uh, I recommend a saucepan for this because you're going to be mixing around. Lug of oil goes in. Then, of course, you got all those onions that you chopped up. Stick them in the pan and start sweating them down. We want to sweat them down. And once we've sweat them down a little bit, put in, you know, a tablespoon of sage. You're never going to go wrong with it because it's so good. Once that's mixed in with the onions a bit, put in your rice. And now we're going to, what they call, toast it. But essentially, you're going to fry it a little bit in that oil with the onions and the sage. Um, just till it starts to, like brown a little bit starts to you know essentially cook right but now we need to add in the first element so this is where you would typically put in some wine or whatever i'm putting in the dr pepper obviously mandatory uh pour yourself a glass and then pour some in now you know it's up to you how much you put in at the start but i like to put in enough to at least cover uh, all of the elements that I've got in my pan, you know, to give it a real kick from the off. Make sure that you give it a stir so it's not getting burnt, uh, it's not stuck to the bottom of the pan, and continue to cook that down, okay? Because essentially we want to cook that Dr. Pepper down. You can see it's starting to get a little bit syrupy, um, but you can see that the rice has already absorbed pretty much all all that liquid already in just you know that was about you know one minute but if you look at that rice it actually it's already started to plump up which is a great start to this recipe okay so now we've got our stock so again try not to get it all over the uh, oven the pub uh, but pour in again another you know section of this stock just to cover what we've got and just start stirring it, okay? You don't need to stir it 24 seven, okay? But make sure every time that you pour in a lug of this stuff, give it a good stir, you know, because we want to engage these risotto grains of rice, you know, and every time you whack them, they're releasing their energy into this risotto. They're thickening everything up. So you want to go through the steps of just, you know, every couple of minutes as, as, as that reduces down, pour in a little bit more stock and just keep going over and over again. Quite repetitive, but at the end of the day, we know that this is going to be worth it. Okay, so as again, you can see that, you can see that those pieces of rice, those grains of rice, they're getting bigger and bigger every single time we pour in this rice, this uh, stock, okay? So keep, keep pouring it in, try not to make a mess like I do, but you know, it's part of the course. Just keep stirring and gradually you'll get to a point where all of your stock has gone, okay? 
and you're kind of you're getting there you're getting there but what i would say is you know look at what you've got and decide whether the rice is cooked okay sometimes you can go through all the stock and it still can be a little bit hard okay i'm not really one for you know you know rice that is too al dente i really i like it a bit soft and if that's the case just get your kettle and pour in some boiling water into the mix, you know, just to continue in that process of adding liquid in um, until it is done. Now, once it is done, you want to you want to drop in a chunk of butter, you know, because we want this rich. We want this super, super rich. So the butter goes in a whole host of parmesan cheese, loads of it, probably too much, but, you know, c'est la vie. And then, you know. All you've got to do is just mix that through and that is going to make so much of a difference. Now I've had risotto where people, they don't do these finishing touches, the butter and the parmesan. They'll grate a little bit on afterwards. You've got to mix it through for that ultimate luxury. Okay. So once it's done, pour it into your serving bowl, plate, or however you're going to, you know, dish it up and then just do some final touches, which of course, you know, is a few grounds of your black pepper. Um, and then again, you know, we want a little bit more of the Parmesan cheese because we are greedy. And you just grate that over the top. And basically, it is ready to go. So what do you think about that, folks? We'll head over to the big guy for the tasting session, I guess. Hey gang, thanks for joining me here for the taste test. But when you know, you know, and this is one of them, you just know it's gonna be great. Rososo is one of the dishes I do on a regular basis. And I came up with a concept for the Dr. Pepper inspired one some years ago, and it just went down a storm instantly because it just adds those notes, sweet notes into the dish that you know I know that you're gonna love, so give it a go. And let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And as always, you know, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this. So anyway, let's jump down to the nitty gritty, the all important, the taste test. Wow, this bowl, <laughs> this bowl is absolutely boiling. And I suppose that's what, ha that's what happens when you've been cooking this for you know best part of 45 minutes so let's see if i can do this without burning my fingers i don't think i'm going to be able to i'll hold it on the edge i'll hold it on the edge and try not to drop it and smash it but there you go this is creamy you can see it's a lot darker than you would usually get in risotto you know and it's because of that dots of pepper so wow Wowzers. I actually forgot how good this actually is. I think this might be, I think this might be my top five favorite dishes of all time. That's how highly I rate this. The Dr. Pepper, the sage, one of my, one of the most underrated herbs going. Check this out and I'll see you on the next one.